I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will explain you the technique of dividing polynomials by trinomial using synthetic division. We have already seen how synthetic division is to be used when we are dividing by a binomial. Here let us divide 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x cube minus x plus 2 by x square minus x plus 3 x square minus x plus 3 is a trinomial. How to divide this using synthetic division? So we'll follow the same process as we do for synthetic division. That is, we'll first write down all the coefficients of the polynomial. The missing coefficients will be re replaced by placeholders, zeros. 2x to the power of 4, 5x cubed, x square term is missing. So we'll replace that by 0, right? So let's write down the coefficients first. 2 for x4 to the power of 4 minus 5 and 0 for square. Minus 1 for 1 and 2 for the constant. Now what should be the divisor? As you know, divisor is conjugate of the coefficients. In binomial, we took conjugate of the constant. Now, we'll definitely take con conjugate of constant plus 3 replaced by minus 3. Coefficient of x is minus 1. We'll write that as plus 1. So that becomes the divisor. Now, the technique is similar to what we have already seen in synthetic division. That is to say, we'll bring down the first term. Since we have two terms to deal with, we actually bring down the second term also. So for that, we have another layer here, right? So I'm introducing additional layer here, and that is the modification. So first step is bring down the terms. Coefficient, leading coefficient is always brought down. And then the next one also. But we'll place it above the second line, which I have made, minus 5. And now, we are going to multiply 1 minus 3 by 2. After multiplication, we will place the product above the lines. First one over here, the second there. Right. So that's, that's the way it is. So 1 times 2 is 2. So we will write 2 here. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. So we will write minus 6 here. Now, next step is to add. So we will add these two terms bring them to this end and these two terms write it under the line so when you add minus 5 and 2 you get minus 3 when you add 0 and minus 6 you get minus 6 now this process is repeated that is to say that minus 3 will be multiplied by both when you multiply by 1 the product will be placed above the line which is right at the bottom so it becomes minus 3 here and when you multiply minus 3 by the second term you get plus 9 which will be placed above the line second which we introduced right so 9 and then we'll add them up <coughs> minus 3 minus 6 gives you minus 9 and minus 1 when you add to plus 9 gives you 8. At this stage, we'll again multiply 1 minus 3 by minus 9. 1 times minus 9 is minus 9. 3 times minus 9 is plus 27. When you add them up, what do you get? You get minus 1 here and 29. So, these three terms correspond to, correspond to the quotient over degree 2. 4 minus 2 gives you 2. And that's the part of the remainder. Right? So, we can now write down that when you divide 2x to the power 4 minus 5x cubed minus x plus 2 by x squared minus x plus 3, you get a quotient of 2x squared minus 3x 
minus 9 and that's the remainder so let me write this as plus here and then we'll put minus x this is x plus constant 29 divided by the divisor which is x squared minus x plus 3 correct so that is how you can actually apply synthetic division and do this division in the short way I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post your questions, subscribe my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.